This morning, we welcome back Victoria Henley. She's a model and a former America's Top Model and also an entrepreneur. She's the owner of Magnifique, a training, development, and branding company for models. So welcome back, Victoria. Yes. Thank you so much for having me. It's always a pleasure. Yes, indeed. It's been a while because of the yes. COVID-19. We've had to close the set, but we're opening back up, and it's yeah. all good. Y'all wear masks coming in and going That's out, right. and we're in good shape. Well, listen, um, I wa we've covered your store a little bit about how mm -hmm. you became a model, and it's very fascinating. But I want to talk a little bit about your business, and yes. then we can talk about these models and what they're wearing this morning. Of course. You are looking for models. You have 5,000 on your roster? We do, yes. Since I appeared on America's Next Top Model, uh, we have worked with models all over the United States. So quickly that number rose to 5,000 models, a little bit over that, that we've worked with, trained, developed. So if you want to reach out just really quick on Instagram, at Victoria Henley, we have models of all ages, shapes, sizes. We definitely want to work with you. There's always something going on. Okay, yeah. so then, and how do they get booked? Yes, of course. So if you reach out, and I'm sure you can post uh, all of that info up, we have shows that we do in conjunction with New York Fashion Week, LA Fashion Week, and we have our own shows as well. So it's really great in some of these uh, markets that are in Florida and New Orleans and maybe a little less saturated, we still have things going on for so many different people. So Magnifique Runway at gmail.com. We do training and development, photo shoots, and fashion shows. It's a great way to all get right, involved. All right, well, let's, let's see if some of these lovely three people that yes. you have here this morning and what are they tell us who introduced these and what are they wearing absolutely so we have uh, Brooke if you're looking at the screen it's gonna be left to right Brooke Hatcher she's wearing a gorgeous uh, burgundy sort of aubergine looking outfit by Sake clothing we have Thomas Mitchell who's one of our local boys he's a Georgia boy here he is wearing a sweater by Sake Clo Sake clothing company who's my design partner out of Denver Colorado and then Hallie Dominguez who is also from Georgia she is wearing her smile shield uh, which is a great way to <laughs> Stay fashionable, you know, amidst these times, you see all the little jeweled embellishments, uh, and that is from Sake Clothing as well. So we're edging into fall, right? It's chilly outside, yes, and it's, it's time to start thinking about those fall fashions. So I think Sake Clothing does a phenomenal job uh, just for everybody. And I'm also wearing a Sake dress. This is a little bit more for Halloween, though, don't you think? Kind I of think it, yes. It's got, <laughs> it's got that little... Uh, you know, kind of the clever, uh, I'm trying to think of the character that this reminds me of. Who is this? Morticia Adams. Uh, yes, there you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> well, listen, and, and these ladies, and even uh, Thomas, is burgundy kind of a color this year? I mean, I just noticed it there. What is? What are the some of the top colors? Yes, that's a great question. You know, every year Pantone does the color of the year. So it's purple, it's green. Uh, now you're seeing a lot of neutral palettes. So what mm. Thomas is wearing, you see the burgundy, you see the pops of blue coming out. Mm -hmm. um, the the tan is a really big color, and you are seeing burgundy all over the runways for this upcoming season. I know we haven't had a lot of shows because of the pandemic, uh, but if you look at the trends, burgundy is definitely one to watch, and it's universally flattering as well. Well, all right then. Yeah. Well, once again, Victoria, thank you so much for coming and for bringing uh, Brooke and Hallie and Thomas with you this yes. morning as well. Well, thank when we so come right back, a story that just might make you believe in ghosts. Just in time for Halloween. Stay with us. We'll be right back.